All right, welcome back to another touch designer tutorial. And in this one, we're going to look at quite the treat. This is like um, a feedback technique um, that's kind of similar to my last one. But um, then again, the outcome is very different. And uh, yeah, I've been using a very similar technique like this for most of my recent uh, artworks that I've posted on Instagram. So uh, have a look at them if you want to. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is kind of part of my explorations for my bachelor. So I'm currently doing that and um, trying to I'm, I'm trying to like uh, imitate or yeah, I guess imitate natural and organic art uh, or like behavior and structures. Uh, with digital tools and pretty much solely uh, touch designer, so I've 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 come to really love um, feedback loops because you can, you, yeah, you can very easily I'd say um, create very organic looking and to your own like to yourself surprising results and that's a lot of fun to me. So yeah, I'm like uh, not a like mathematician or physician, so I, like I I don't actually know a lot what's like going on here. For me, it's really about the look and feel, and for me, it's, it's really a lot about just having fun in the process and trying out and experimenting. And so this is the result of of me just sitting here having fun. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I hope you will too. Um, and. I think I'm just going to start now. Yeah, before I start, one last thing. I really want to thank Packet at 12 again because he really pushed me like in the explorations of feedback. If I did that before already, but like his video on recursive displacement really uh, pushed that further and uh, thanks a lot to to him. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to start the whole thing with a noise as always uh, recently or often. And I'm going to change the resolution to 1080 by 1080 and the pixel format to 16 bit float. You can also set it to 32 bit float, but it's going to take a bit more GPU power. I also want this to be animated. So I'm going to type in apps time dot seconds times 0.2. So this little expression here. Um, and I'm going to change the period to like two, the harmonics to like five. I'm gonna spread to like one and um, the exponent to two, but we can like change all this offset to 0.3, something like this. Uh, we're gonna look at that again. Okay, so I'm gonna um, start the whole thing with a feedback top because that's what we're gonna use. And then I'm gonna add a displays to this. Okay, I'm gonna drag the displays all the way over here and then drag that back onto the feedback. And before we actually start, I want to um, have a keyboard in chop with which I can reset this feedback um, feedback top. Oops, there we go. So I can just press one on my keyboard now and it nicely um, resets this. Okay, so we also want this to be uh, in the lower um, input, the second input, so the displays image and this is the upper upper lane here is like the source image, and the lower one is um, the the image that is displacing the other one. Okay, let's just add a null here. Oops, and um, just call this BG, and change the displace weight to 0.1. All right, so this looks beautifully awful. Um, let's now try to change that. So I'm going to insert an edge to make it look even worse. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually better. And I'm going to change the strength to like 0.2. Okay. Um, what we need to do like th this is like doing one part of the magic and the other part of the magic is the very beloved slope top. And um, as you can see, this is already looking a bit more interesting. I'm going to change the like strength and sample step all to 5. So if I press 1, it's always going to be reset. And that already looks interesting. OK, so I'm going to use a composite here now. And I want to have a null here, because I might want to like interchange this input um, 
with another noise or something else. So from this on, I'm going to like, yeah, this is going in into the, the comp here. And I'm going to change this to subtract. And <clears throat> then I'm going to use this edge and put it underneath that. And there we already have a very cool effect going on. So after the slope, I can now add a blur. And um, maybe just go up with this a bit. Something like that. And um, yeah, there we actually go. This is pretty much the effect. Um, but there's lots more to do now. So we can also blur this before the composite. So um, yeah, we have, we're a bit more in control there. Um, and as you can see, if I like reset this, uh, it's got like a nice structure in the beginning and then it's like uh, losing detail slowly over time. So yeah, that, that's, this is pretty much what I mean. Um, so to, to not have that, to be in control uh, whether we have this or not, we can add a composite before the edge, change this to subtract subtractive, and then put this in there. So now as we do this, the uh, structure nicely stays with us. Okay, so you can change the like the strength of the slope. Um, that's like one thing you can change the, the strength of the blur. That would be another thing to do. Um, you could add like another blur here after the edge and go down with the filter size and then it resembles a bit more something like a reaction diffusion sketch. And yeah, okay. So these are like just a couple of things you can you can change. You can change the displays, um, something like this. So you're kind of zooming in. So you're just changing your weight there. So this is also super interesting. You can um, put a look up in here and uh, add a ramp. And then uh, we can add some color to this. So let's let's keep it at, at black like that one. Just add another one, make that blue. Something like this maybe. And then this last one just very slightly blue. Yeah, something like this. Feel free as always to use your own colors. And um, one last thing, uh, we're using this noise right now to um, to be composited in here again. We could just copy and paste this and use that instead and maybe change the period to like five or like four or something and change the exponent to something higher, maybe the amplitude to something higher. And then you can see we have a lot more dynamics in there because we're like using two different noises to work with and not just one. So this is a nice way, but this is definitely gonna like be a bit more tough on your GPU, uh, the performance generally. So yeah, generally speaking, if you go much higher, this isn't super fast, unfortunately. But uh, then again, I also have quite the shitty uh, GPU uh, graphics card. So um, if you have a good graphics card, going up with the resolution here should shouldn't be a problem, I think. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna just like, again, tell you <laughs> that you can really like, I really ask you to to mess around with this because um, all the stuff that I recently uh, did was pretty much just messing around with uh, parameters here. So um, I mean, they, they kind of look different sometimes the the sketches but it's always like it is feedback with this place and then just messing around with the inside so really feel free to to do that really ask you to do that and uh, one little exercise could be um, to think how could you make this grow from the from the center like because I if I do this right now it's always just there instantly so maybe you want to have this like grow from the center or from some point on the screen so maybe think how you could do that and um, maybe try uh, messing around with leveling that um, always makes quite the difference in feedback loops as well and um, try a different kind of composites there is no limit 
Um, yeah, um, I think that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you if you have too much money, then you can give that to me on Patreon, <laughs> if you if you wish. Um, I'm gonna like upload. Uh, I'm like uploading some some extra stuff there, and um, also all the files for these uh, videos. Um, and I'm I'm very like a huge thanks to all the people already supporting me. It, it means a lot to me. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.